Hawaiian volcanoes are erupting again and we recently had a fountain of lava that shot out more than a thousand feet high. It, it was the highest uh, lava fountain that's been around for a long time. It just, and there's great video of it, I'll show you in a minute, of it just shooting huge amounts of lava into the sky. But there's been a number of newspaper reports, including some you know well-known ones, and but some science ones that have been telling us something really crazy about the volcanoes. I saw this headline: "Gold erupts from Hawaiian volcanoes." Scientists discover. Okay, here's my uh, surprise face. That's actually my surprised and sarcastic face. Hawaiian volcanoes have erupted gold that came from the Earth's core. I'm not going to do that every time. A reservoir of gold lies hidden in the Earth's core. Scientists say it's leaking out. Earth's core holds a vast reservoir of gold and it's leaking toward the surface. Earth's core is leaking gold, study finds. New discovery reveals gold may be leaking from the Earth's core. A scientist studying a stunning find in Hawaiian volcanic rocks offers a tantalizing glimpse into the planet's inner workings and its hidden wealth. Well, I've been to Hawaii. I've seen the, the volcanoes. And uh, I didn't see anything as spectacular as what was coming out of the Earth. But let's learn about Hawaii volcano gold. And... Uh, you know, we're going to dig deep into that. Let's take a look at the uh, recent volcano uh, fountain, though. It was pretty amazing. Well, if you haven't seen it, here it is. This fountain of lava is actually shooting more than a thousand feet in the air. Imagine the incredible pressure that, uh, that would have to be down there at the bottom to shoot that stuff that high. Now, I have a question for you. Do you see any gold? You see any gold coming out? Does it look like gold? I don't know. It uh, looks like lava to me. That's what I say. Now those headlines that I read you like, gold erupts from Hawaiian volcanoes scientists discover. You know, that stuff, uh, long before there was ever a mouse to click, newspapers invented the modern day equivalent of clickbait, right? You may have heard of clickbait for YouTube. Well. Newspapers were doing it a century before that. They give you screaming headlines that make you want to read, make you want to look, make you want to dig in. And a gold erupting from a Hawaii volcano. Yeah, that, that definitely got my attention. I had a number of my uh, viewers from my YouTube channel uh, contact me and say, hey, you know, what about this? And it it needs an explanation, okay? And, and it take more than five seconds to explain it. So, in fact, from looking at these headlines, I thought, what are these guys thinking, you know? What are they talking about? You know, maybe if you could look at that uh, fountain uh, and take away the red hot heat, it would actually look like this. And here it is, a fountain of real gold shooting out all over the place. I think this is, I don't know where I got this picture off the internet. I think it's actually some sort of firework display. But it looks cool. It looks great. I wish there was a fountain full of gold. Yeah, but I don't think that's, that's, <laughs> that's some picture I downloaded of a, a fountain of gold. But the truth is that, uh, in fact, hey, you want to see about Hawaiian gold volcano stuff? Well, here is a piece of basalt, and I'll give you a close-up view of it. Okay, here's that chunk of lava up close. And uh, this really is a piece of basalt lava from Hawaii. It's from the Big Island, and it's from a flow that uh, was liquid. It flowed out in the early 1700s, back when George Washington was still a young man. And it has what they call, it's, it's called pahoho or pahoihoi if you're Hawaiian. It's ropey lava. The lines on the surface are as that ropey it's it's a it's actually just a skin on the surface of the lava underneath it it's got holes you can kind of see in the upper right hand corner it's normal lava on the underside but this is lava that flowed out and i looked at it really closely i i even used my magnifying glass i looked real good and i didn't see any gold now do you guys see any gold here and the front part of it you know shows the ropey thing but the back 
uh, it has all the holes that's typical of basalt and the gases that are in the basalt as it comes out of the earth. And if you look at this, you know, like you say, you're not going to think that there's gold. But the truth is, all kinds of rocks, uh, from, you know, rhyolite and other volcanic rocks to uh, intrusive rocks like granitic rocks and diorite and that kind of stuff, to all sorts of I mean, metamorphic rocks to have traces of gold. And now I'm really talking about tiny traces. I'm talking about like parts per billion. You need a billion pounds of uh, raw, you know, a whole mountain worth to make a pound of gold. And you know, real gold deposits, actual gold deposits that are economic to work and, and process the rock at a profit and, and make money, yeah, those deposits have something on the order of 10,000 times more gold per pound than typical volcanic rock. And, and there's lots of basalt all over the place. I mean, there's, the Hawaiian Islands are mostly basalt, but there's basalt all over Nevada, California, the West, the East Coast. There's, there's basalt. Basalt is a pretty common uh, type of rock. And uh, it's been known for a long time that this basalt comes from pretty deep in the earth. And the scientists have thought that about the Hawaiian volcanoes for years. And so this testing, what they did was they took some Hawaiian volcanic rock and they did some very high level analysis on it and found that they uh, found a little bit more than you would expect of a radioactive platinum group metal, which is thought to be more abundant in the earth, like a lot of other stuff. And so the, uh, the fact that there's this more abundant radioactive platinum group metal indicates that the uh, volcano lava is coming from deep, deep, deep down into the earth. And it isn't any surprise, that's kind of what scientists thought, but here's some science to confirm it and, and say that that is what's going on. Well, that's not all that exciting. You know, what kind of headline are you going to make of scientists find trace amounts elevated uh, radioactive platinum element, platinum group element. That isn't going to make any headlines. So the scientists said, well, there's concentrations of these platinum group elements, but there's also concentrations of gold. Gold? Oh, the Hawaiian volcanoes are shooting gold out. And that's how these, because that's a, a headline that'll grab your attention. And that's how it basically you got that, uh, the, all those headlines, you know, gold erupts from Hawaiian volcanoes, scientists discover. Well, it's erupting tiny, 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 tiny traces of gold in the rock. Now, if you want to know more about Hawaiian volcanoes and gold, I did actually a whole video on different kinds of volcanoes and, you know, what ones are associated with gold deposits. And by gold deposits, I don't mean tiny, 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 tiny traces, parts per billion of gold. I mean, you know, workable kinds of uh, deposits, you know, that, like I say, 10,000 times more concentrated gold. And, and these, these 10,000 times more concentrated, it's a process, it's a natural geologic process that will strip gold and concentrate it in some kinds of rocks. And so that's, that's what we're looking for. Um, that's what leads to nuggets and, and even quartz veins with gold and other things that can be useful. So but I did this other video and I'm going to put a link to it right up here and uh, you can check it out if you want to know more about volcanoes and gold and Hawaii, Hawaiian volcanoes and why Hawaiian volcanoes really don't make gold deposits, economic gold deposits. Yes, the rock absolutely has tiny, tiny traces of gold, but workable economic deposit deposits? No. These headlines are just really hugely misleading and, uh, and it's clickbait, basically. That's what it is. It, it's the newspaper equivalent of clickbait. Now, wherever you're prospecting for gold, whatever you're doing, um, wherever you want to go to find gold, whether it probably, you know, if you're looking for gold in Hawaii, you should look for lost gold on the beach with your metal detector. 
But as far as looking for gold deposits, yeah, Hawaii is not a good place to look. But there are a lot of other places. And I wrote a book called Fistful of Gold that will help you gain the skills to find that gold. And then also that I have a partnership with High Plains Prospectors who sell prospecting equipment of all different types. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about uh, my book and about High Plains right now. This is my book is full of gold. It's an encyclopedia of everything you need to know to go out and find gold for yourself. It distills down my 45 years of experience out in the field prospecting as well as my degree in mine engineering. It's like I say an encyclopedia. There's a lot to it. It's over 250,000 words long, uh, hundreds of pages with hundreds of illustrations and teaching you what you need to know about geology, about mining districts, about techniques of finding gold. It covers metal detectors, uh, sluicing, panning, dry washing, high bankers, you know, you name it, it's covered in there. It talks of some about platinum and diamonds, but it's mostly about gold because gold is more widespread. It uh, is not so much a book about where to find gold, but a book about how to find gold. Because even if you have a location where gold was mined in the past and you go out there, well, where should you look to be successful in your prospecting, to find the gold that's there? This is the book that's gonna tell you that information. I spent most of 10 years writing this book, so I, I thought a long time about it. It's got, uh, like I say, lots of information and lots of illustrations, and I've had results from people who bought it. Um, it's available on Amazon, but I recommend buying it through High Plains Prospectors, and I'll put a link in the description for buying this book through them. They have a better price than Amazon, and I have a special deal that I'll tell you a little bit more about where I can get a, you can get a 5% discount uh, from the price even with that. On Amazon, the book rates a 4.7 out of five, which means that of all the people that have bought it, they've been really highly satisfied. And I think you, if you buy my book, will be just as highly satisfied as well. Now let's talk a little bit more about High Plains Prospectors. They're a prospecting shop, a mail order prospecting shop that I've partnered with. Uh, that The deal is that I can get you a 5% discount uh, a coupon code and I'm going to put the code to that right here. It's just Chris Ralph, all caps with no space between Chris and Ralph. Uh, you put that in there as a discount code and you'll get 5% off their already really good prices. I think it's a great deal where you win by getting a discount. I get a little percentage of that and they get new business. So if you need prospecting supplies, High Plains is really the way to go. And I'll put information, like I say, in the description more about how you can work with them. Because I'm working with them, uh, they really are great guys, great company. For even more information, I also have a website and I'm going to show you my web page and talk a little bit more about that right now. This is my web page. It's located at NevadaOutbackGems.com. You can Google it or I have a link down in the description below. But there's lots of information here, miscellaneous stuff, pictures, some historic information as well, stories. Um, it's got a lot of great fun stuff. Uh, you'll probably be interested in it. Now on all of my YouTube videos, I encourage you guys to ask questions. If you have thoughts, comments, um, you know, suggestions for things that I ought to look at in my videos, uh, things that uh, you want to find out more about, and I answer 100% of my questions. There's not very many uh, YouTubers out there that answer 100% of their questions. I'm one of the few. And so I will do my best to answer what you have. I mean, uh, I only can write so much. Um, sometimes the answer is something where I'm going to recommend that you buy the book and read about it. I also ask that you subscribe to my channel, uh, click the bell notification so that every time I come out with a new video, 
and you'll be able to watch it and like I say I cover a huge amount of topics I also have 250 videos that I've already done and so you can go back through my catalog of videos on YouTube I'm sure there'll be many videos there that you'll want to take a look at especially if you have any interest in gold or platinum diamonds gemstones geology and that sort of stuff my YouTube site is going to be right up your alley so I'll see you again real soon. Uh, we'll be out in the field and, and back in the office uh, at the whiteboard. And whether we're looking at gold or platinum, diamonds, gemstones, or other interesting geology, it's going to be fun. You're going to enjoy it. And we'll see you again real soon.